So if you've done iOS development before, you'll be familiar with the concept of storyboards. And these are files that essentially allow you to visually lay out all of the views of your application and make connections between them. For instance, doing uh, setting up a transition when a button clicks. Um, on iOS, it's mainly focused on transitioning full screen views. On the new capabilities in OS X, Yosemite, we now have storyboards when we do Cocoa development. They're slightly different in that they're not so much focused on doing full screen view transitions because generally you have a lot more screen real estate for desktop applications. But it is a great way just to visually lay out and organize your applications. So I'm going to show you just a quick example of how this new feature works. Um, so you need to be actually running OS 10.10 .10 in order to use storyboards from Xcode 6. So just be aware of that. So from the welcome screen, I'm going to create a new Cocoa application. Uh, I'm just going to call it Story. And we're going to choose Swift as the language. And then we have this checkbox saying whether we want to use storyboards. Now, if we don't, we're going to use regular zip files uh, like you know we always have when doing uh, Mac development. But if we check off Use Storyboards, click Next, and click Create, it's created a, a basic um, template project for us. And if you'll notice, we have an app delegate.swift, a view controller subclass already created for us. And you'll see why in a second when I click on the main storyboard. So let me just get a little screen real estate here. So you can see at the default in our storyboard, we have a couple of items. First, we have our actual window controller. This is holding our, the main window for our application. And then we have this relationship between this and this view controller subclass down here. And this is actually linked via this code file. And what this is doing is this essentially setting the window content for our window to this view controller. So that's how it is when we first come in. So now what we want to do is to add some items um, to our main view controller. So let me go in the object panel down here. And we're going to create a really simple application. Um, I'm going to get a color well. So let me drag out color well. And then we're going to get a button. There's a simple button which is going to load in a second view. It's essentially going to uh, take another view controller and put it over the top of this or replace it. Now, again, like I mentioned, as of right now, there's not a lot of options as far as transitions go. Um, I'll show you what those are in a second. But let's quickly wire these up to our Swift file. So I'm going to go to the assistant editor. And let me just get a little more space here. So here is our NS view controller subclass, which is tied to this view controller. What I want to do is to get a reference to that color well. So I'm going to drag this, control drag, and I'll just call it well. And here you can see how an IB outlet looks in Swift. Um, you know, somewhat similar. Of course, we don't have a header file. And then we have our button. But let me go back here. So now what we need to add is another view controller that we want to uh, transition to when we click on this button. So let me go back to the object panel and I'm going to drag out a new view controller. Let me put it to the side. So now in this view controller, what we're going to have is um, a box. So we're going to get an NS box. And let me scroll down. Here it is. And I'm going to make this a box type of custom just so we can show um, a color in there. So let me just drag that there. We'll increase the size like that. And then we're going to need a button which is going to close this view. So let me bring out a button here. And we'll just add it like that. So now what we need to do is to create a new NS view controller subclass. Remember that automatically with the template, it created one for us. Well, now we're going to need to create one for that second view controller. So I'm going to say new file, Coco class, and I'm going to call this second controller. 
Now, we don't want to create a zip file for it, again, because we're using storyboards. So I'll click Next and click Create. And one of the things that will give you an error or a warning is this is not the correct initialization override to use with storyboards. What we want to use is init coder, and then inside of that, call the super init coder uh, initialization function. So just be aware of that. Um, again, this is a beta uh, version, obviously. So let's go back to the storyboard. And now what we need to do is to tell this view controller that we want to use that new class. So I'm going to come here under custom class, and I'm going to say second controller. So now that, that now that's linked up. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is define that relationship between these two view controllers. So this is the main view controller that's going to be showing when we first launch the app. When we click this button, I essentially want to transition to this view controller. So to do that, all I have to do is control drag from the button to my main view controller. And now you can see we have this action segue pop-up. Now these are the transitions that are currently available um, as of right now. So we can show the second view controller as a pop-over, as a modal window, or as a sheet. Now the other option is a custom segue, and that's where we can define the animation that's going to happen between the two ourselves, um, but we'll look at that in a future tutorial. I'm just going to choose Sheet. So now when we click on this object, you can see under the segue, we, it's a style of sheet. And we're going to want to give that an identifier, uh, because we perhaps might not sometimes want to perform the segue, and we can actually do checking um, in code for that. So now let's run the app and see what we have so far. So there it's running. Now, by default, you're going to get some errors here uh, in the console. Um, again, this is obviously beta Xcode on beta um, OS 10. So here I have the window. I have my um, color well and the button. And when I click, we can see it's now transitioning that new view controller in as a sheet. Now this button here, we're going to use to control it. We haven't set that up yet, so let's do that. So let's select that view controller, and let's go to the assistant editor, and let's go in here to second controller. And what we want to do is, firstly, let's link up this button by control dragging, and we're going to create an action. So when we click that, we're going to call an uh, action method called dismiss. Now, all we have to do um, inside of here is to call self.dismissController and pass in self. So this is a kind of a global way, um, and it will send this up throughout the responder chain. So if no matter what type of um, window this is in, whether it's in a popover or a sheet, just by calling dismiss controller, it will close itself um, and essentially transition back to where it was before. So the other thing I need to do is to uh, get a reference to my box here because I'm going to want to fill it with the color that comes out through that outlet. So first let's test it to make sure we have our transition running. So here's the window. If I click down, we now see it as a sheet. I click and it goes away. So we have our transitioning between views working. Now just to show you what it would look like, here if I select the segue and let's go ahead and change the type from sheet to popover. And you can see we have options for the anchored view where it will be anchored. But when I run this, here's the window. When I click button, we can see we have essentially a, a pop, well, pop under in this case, but it's showing up in a popover window. So we have multiple options for how we want to display that second view controller. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, when we click on this button here, it's, do, it's performing the segue. But we need a way to get this color value over to this second view controller. And this is a common issue of being able to send data between view controllers. So there's a method that we have to implement um, in order to make that happen. You're always going to need to implement this. If we go into our uh, 
main view controller. This is the view controller that for our main view that shows uh, when we come into the app. You're going to want to override a function called prepare for segue. And this gets called right before the, um, the transition happens between this storyboard and the destination uh, controller. So what we can do in here is we can send some data to that destination view controller for it to use. So first we need a reference to that destination controller and we can get it right off of this segue object. So segue, we'll actually let's create this as a let. So we'll say uh, define a constant here and we'll call it second is equal to segue. And then there's a property called destination controller. And we'll want to cast that to our second uh, controller class that we created. So now we have a reference to that class, or we have a reference to the destination view controller. Now we can set what's called its represented object. And this is a data object that can be anything uh, that we can send to that view controller. So we're going to say second dot represented object is equal to well dot color. And that's going to pull the NS color out of our color well and send it to that second view controller. So now if we go to the second controller dot Swift file, now when we first come in and display our view, I want to set the color of that um, NS box. So I'm going to go to one of the view override methods. Uh, we'll do uh, view will appear, which is called right before the view will appear and present uh, to the user. And what I want to do here is to simply set box dot fill color equal to self dot represented object. Remember that represented object is a color, and we should cast that here to NS color. So again, going back right before the segue is about to, to happen, this method gets called where we get a reference to the destination, we set its represented object to the color, and then in this class, when the, right before the view appears, we're going to set that box to the correct color. So let's test the application. And here we go. So now let me choose a color from the color well, from the color picker, click button, and now we can see we still have that popover, so let me change it to a sheet. So we'll go to our segue and change it to sheet. Let's run that again. And there we go. Click button. And now we have our second view controller uh, transitioning in, and we're getting that color through the represented object. And we're able to change to a different color here. And things are connected up nicely. So this kind of thing is so much easier to do now uh, in Xcode 6. So that's an overview of storyboards on OS 10. It's still really early and I'm expecting things to change, but it's great to be able to have this kind of visual overlay and, and assembling of the various views in your application.